Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I'm here doing your nightly reading, my darlings. This reading is for the collective, so just take what resonates. Leave the rest behind, right? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much. I love you, Cancer. Thank you for all of your support. The likes, subscribes, comments, you guys, thank you. Speaking of comments, Cancer, um, there is somebody in the comments section that's been posing as me, you know, saying things like, hey, I got something for you. Yeah, Cancer, that's not me, okay? Um, I like your stuff, and I give you little hearts, and I, I may say thank you or something like that, but I'm never, ever going to lead you anywhere else to another website, nothing like that, okay? And no, I'm not doing any personal readings or anything like that, so if you do happen to see the scammer that's using my picture, that, in fact, is not me, you guys, okay? So don't buy into that. All right, so Cancer, what I'm seeing just with your oracle cards, um, <laughs> honestly, I'm seeing a masculine energy who's trying desperately to put a smile on their face, okay? Like, keep like, my life is great. This is the great pretender. My life is great. I'm super happy. I'm really happy with a karmic that's going nutty in the background, right? This is who they chose over you. And this karmic is showing um, just how toxic they really are. I feel like this is somebody who's very unpredictable. They get violent. They're very embarrassing in public. And this person is always, your masculine is always like, ha ha ha, yeah, isn't she cute when she does this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, and I feel like this karmic is starting to sort of um, lose control of their mind. Like this is somebody who's who is seriously getting dementia or they're um, delusional or something like that. I don't know what this is, um, but your person they're they're trying to. Um, it's like it's almost like they laugh it off. They pretend that like yeah yeah this isn't that great. And then behind the scenes, they get phone calls like, dude, what just happened? You know, their friends are calling them. Dude, did you just see your girl, like, freak out? That kind of thing, you know, this karmic. And they they have to do, like, damage control, right? Trying to make up excuses for this karmic. And no, no, everything is great. I'm super happy. But deep down inside this person, they're, they're about to lose their mind, too, as well. They're about to pop. They can't stand being with this karmic anymore. I feel like they're only trying to keep the karmic calm at this point. The karmic is losing their mind because they're jealous about you. All right. Uh, you're out here making big money here, Cancer. You're living a beautiful life. You're gorgeous. They may be jealous of your looks. They may be trying to be like you. Look at how she puts on the makeup, right? She's trying to be like you and can't. Um, uh, all she's focused on is, is your winning out here, your accomplishments, your glow up. Um, you're also extremely intuitive here. All of these little dots, those are orbs around you. I feel like you're surrounded by spirit guides. You're excited about things that are coming up in your future. You're making really good money here. You could have a, a business that's just taking off, right? Um... I mean, yeah, you're just focused on yourself. And this karmic, she's losing her marbles, I'm telling you. She's losing her mind. And this masculine is kind of like trying to laugh it off and trying to keep the peace and um, reassuring people that, you know, everything is okay. Meanwhile, they're about to explode. Like, they can't take it anymore. This masculine cannot live up to the lies anymore. And here's the thing. I feel like they're just constantly daydreaming about you, Cancer. And behind the scenes, this karmic is having an affair with someone else. Okay, they don't realize that yet. All these two do is fight with each other. That's all that happens. There's no love. There's no passion. It's just nothing but fighting, drama, um, unpredictability, right embarrassing moments this karmic is very uh, like th this person's getting a phone call from their friends and family dude are you okay 
because the, this karmic literally snaps like crazy, like a crazy person in public, at public events, in the public, um, anywhere, anywhere. She's literally starting to lose her mind, okay? So, yeah, I, this person, this masculine is just trying to keep the peace and um, I don't know. I don't even know why they're there anymore. I feel like your spirit team is over here um, in their situation, actually. Any bit of karma that they sent to you is coming back on this, on this karmic. I feel like there was some spell work done here. And she's done everything she can to bring you down and you just keep on getting better. You keep getting stronger, better at what you do, more abundant. Okay, it's because you're divinely protected. So if she's done any spell work, which it kind of appears like she has maybe, all of that is coming back to her. She's starting to lose her mind from it. I feel like the, she's in a mental prison or trying her best to keep your person stuck or both. And this, this, all of this is driving her crazy. Okay? Meanwhile, you're, you're not even connected to that situation at all. You've disconnected. You're living in light. Look at all of this white around you. So a lot of spirit guides around you right now. You're using your intuition. Um, you're just focused on yourself, divinely guided and protected. Look at these. Are, these are your spiritual team, your spirit guides protecting you. Your masculine, I feel like they're starting to get creative. They're starting to receive messages as well. Waking up, right? They're waking up to the crazy nuttiness over here. And I hate to say it like that, but this, this karmic really, she really has lost her mind. Okay? She really has. Um, and now, with the, here's, a, here's another thing. So this karmic has been having an affair behind your person's back. See, take a good look at this person. This is the same person. And now she's pregnant. Okay, and he doesn't know about it. Man, I'm telling you. Yep, look. And she might tell your person that it's their baby because she wants the money. This is a good way for her to trap your person in. That's what she's thinking. And they will, this masculine will keep providing for her, okay? But your masculine is being spiritually led. They're being awakened here with this card, okay? They're being awakened. I get the sense that um, spirit is going to intervene and bring all of this out in the open, okay? They are. Your person is about to find out about this, about the cheating, about the pregnancy, about the karmic's plan. They already see that she's going crazy with jealousy over you. Um, yeah, Two of Cups energy. Yeah, they're getting the messages here loud and clear. This is your person um, using their intuition, okay? Waking up, right, to this soulmate connection, your soulmate connection. Or they're being told about this karmic, oh yeah, and there's that pregnancy. They could be being told about this karmic and her new, new partner, the one she's pregnant by. So this person's going to be shown this. I'm telling you, this is the divine intervention I was talking about. Here on the bottom of the deck, yeah, they're sad and lonely without you. They, you know, honestly, they are, they're only really focused on you anyway, this masculine. But they are about to find out about this pregnancy. They're about to be shown from the divine that it's not even their baby. Okay. They're going to find proof of this somehow. Possibly, and this is proof, right? Possibly in a cell phone or written down. They could, they could look through this uh, karmic phone and see the messages from this other masculine. They're being shown this. I feel like this masculine is already 
um, wondering, yeah, see, this is that new person. They're going to see pictures maybe of them together, or this masculine is going to be like, um, hey, Karmic, why do you have pictures in your phone of somebody getting out of a shower and somebody's um, naked booty and somebody getting, you know, why do you have pictures of this person? Who is this? Yeah, for real. There's going to be a huge fight. Um, I And I feel like it's going to get physical. Okay. Yeah, they're going to be shown proof. And here you are, out here winning. Divine feminine energy. Your person wants out of that. They're going to want out of that situation anyway. And then... I feel like this karmic is going to be embarrassed because everything is about to be exposed. It's all about to come out into the open, okay? Um, they're going to be very embarrassed, not, not just um, embarrassed because they're losing this masculine to you or they're losing this masculine, but embarrassed because of their, their craziness. Everything that this masculine's friends and family thought about them is correct, Everything is being exposed about this karmic. I'm telling you. A huge fight pops off. They're going to be embarrassed about that as well. If she puts her hands on this masculine, she could actually end up going to jail. Yeah. What else blew on the floor? I think maybe that was it. Um, yeah, this um, this new connection that she has, it's all about to be exposed. And the fact that she's pregnant with someone else's baby, and the fact that she was cheating, and the fact that she's crazy, yeah, and she's going to get so mad. I kind of get the sense that this karmic is going to blame you for this, Cancer. She's going to be blaming you. She's going to be mad. She's going to be wanting to fight. All because her secrets were exposed. Look, she was trying to pretend that she was like, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, if anybody asks you, asks her, who have you been with? She's going to be like, I don't know. What do you, what do you mean? I haven't been with anybody. She plays dumb. Meanwhile, in the background, there's two straws here and the number two. This karmic has been with someone else cheating, is probably pregnant, and now she's angry because it's been exposed. Here's the thing. You may actually be a spiritualist out here, okay, um, with all of this white. You may be completely detached but intuitively picking up on all of this. If you're in the public eye here, Cancer, you could have actually been the one to expose this karmic. You could have said that, like, um, you could have um, predicted that this was going to happen, okay, with your intuition. And it is. It's happening just the way you said. And that's why she's angry with you. Because you were spot on correct about it the whole time. You know? Yeah, see, I feel like you're in the public eye, doing something that you love, being intuitive. Um, and whatever you're doing, you're very skilled at it. Okay, you're teaching other people, and I feel like this masculine has learned from you. Um, you predicted this. She's going crazy because she's trying to cover it up, and she's freaking out, and she's losing her mind. Okay, but your person, they're going to they're gonna see this. They're going to get proof, but that's why she wants to fight with you, because you were right about it. Yeah, see, your masculine is watching you just like everybody else. So if you're out here in the public eye, um, putting out your predictions, right, any spiritual messages that you get, you could have your own platform, website, blog, um, um, your own um, YouTube channel. It, it could be anything. Just even if it's just posting to, like, your social media, okay? Um, you're showing people things. Um, you're teaching people things, and I, whatever that is. And I feel like you knew that this was happening, and it is, okay? Your person has learned from you, and they're absolutely amazed. They're fascinated by 
how you could possibly know this. Um, and the karmic is very threatened by very angry because you were right. You were right. And I feel like there's something about your energy here that wakes people up, Cancer, okay? You could be a light worker. I'm just seeing the star card in my head. So you could be um, a light worker with a public platform, a public speaker, a healer, a teacher, an empath. And whatever it is you're doing, now they can see. They finally know just how skilled you are because you were right about everything. Um, yeah, look at, see, there's that spirituality, and here's your person learning from you. Yeah, and I feel like you predicted this, that the karmic was cheating on your person, possibly with multiple people. And it's true. They're finding proof. Okay, so basically they're getting proof of everything that you predicted. Meanwhile, they're still dealing with this crazy karmic. Okay, she's off her rocker. All right, give me one more for cancer. Ooh, that one flipped out. Yeah, she was only trying to keep your person stuck. And there's that divine intervention. Divine inner, this is the divine here, yes, the corn card, yes. Um, divine intervention, this person is being awoke. They're being woken up, not just by the divine, but also by you and the messages that you've put out being spiritually led, okay? And honestly, Cancer, I will tell you, um, especially in this reading, beyond the shadow of a doubt, everything you predicted was spot on correct. Okay, everything. And it's going to have the karmic feeling embarrassed and completely freaked out. And it's also awakening your person. Good job. Cancer, give yourselves a pat on the back. Anyway, my darlings, listen, that's what I've got for tonight's reading. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Like and subscribe to the channel, you guys, if you like this vibe. And until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.